Hi, my name is Cy Porter and I'm making a writing tutorial partially to get the word out about my animation efforts which you can see at solimation.com so if you'd like me to make more tutorials please watch one of my animations at that website. I'd like to talk today about organizing when it comes to creative writing. <clears throat> so if you're working on a story that is, you know, many chapters, it's very important to stay organized and find an effective way of writing the backstory. And I'd say that at least half of your writing should be the backstory. That is the writing that your audience will never see. It's all the note taking, brainstorming, character description, location description, so on and so forth. And it's going to make your writing a lot easier if you find a way to stay organized. What I use is a freeware program called Keynote NF. You can just search for Keynote NF <clears throat> and find it. And basically it's a tabbed text editor. And the great thing about it being tabbed is it's a great way of st staying organized and looking at the different parts of your backstory writing. <clears throat> you can see it all in front of you. As you can see here, they have tabs that go across here and I'm I'm basically I'm right now I'm reorganizing this but um, I think it's a good time to show you kind of the way I work with this and uh, so they have tabs at the top and then when you click on each tab they have um, notes running down this way that you can click on and it opens up these windows where you can jot in here your different brainstorms and descriptions and everything like that and I have worked with software that's really geared towards organizing writing and the problem I have with the other software I've used is everything is pretty much locked down you know if, if it's a character description software you basically you know you don't really have a lot of options about adding categories whereas with Keynote NF you can really create you know your own categories and organize them very easily with uh, the story I'm working on has three different worlds to it so in the pre-created world I when I first started the story I basically just had a text document that I called flushing and this is where any ideas about the pre-created world at all I would just jot down in that text document. But as the story has progressed, new categories have merged. So you can see that from, uh, from the flushing document here, um, I'm starting a new document called Nature Of, which kind of describes the physics and and sort of the reasons why the world is the way it is and then um, different different categories like absurd occupations is another category that is emerging and you can see how I create new categories as the document develops and if you're like me you'll at first look at this as kind of a dreary occupation as part of the writing, the organizing part, but actually you can make it creative and you can make it intriguing to work on because it does take you into the story. If you if you organize, you can never think that it all has to be organized. You can continue to be brainstorming and doing imaginative work and if you just go through every once in a while by putting your background writing into a more orderly fashion you can do it in such a way so that it does take you into the story and you do come up with new ideas and you do get enlightened about what exactly this other world that you're creating is really about and feel like you're taken further into it and it can be very enjoyable with writing it's very important 
to stay organized and to spend a lot of the time, a lot of time with the backstory. All the time you put into the backstory is not a waste of time. The the writing that people will eventually see is just icing on the cake. This is where all the real cooking goes on. Just keep in mind that you can always change things around as you go along. You can see how over here I started for I had tabs for each chapter and I think I'm going to change that because in working out the backstory for the locations I think I want to create a tab here of locations and then as my main character goes through each new location I want to create a note for that so that I can see it creates a timeline where I basically am just telling the story of the location to location to location and I think that is going to work better for creating this story so I can change that around. I, I, am, I still have it the way I started it out and later I'm going to kind of switch and change that up. Change the way you categorize things. It all will kind of shuffle and work itself out and fall into place and the reason this is such helpful work is that it when you're writing the words that people are going to read you're going to go to it and you're going to have mesmerized your story from the inside out and you're going to then your writing is going to be at its best may not seem so but it's incredibly helpful to work on a story through this process of note-taking brainstorming and organizing categories such categories as each location the weather during the time that your character is at that location so on and so forth I hope that has been helpful again Keynote NF is freeware, a tabbed text editor, wonderful for organizing your backstory for creative writing. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please take the time to check out my website at solomation.com and encourage me to make more of these. Uh, hit the like button, leave a comment, and I will definitely make more of these tutorials. And I hope your writing goes well. Have a good day.